Hey guys, welcome once again to another episode of Friday Night Fights. This week, as you can see, I went back to Street Fighter, like I said, and I did pretty good. You know, I won most of my matches this week. I didn't I didn't get super frustrated at anything. I mean, I got super hyped to play after I, uh, on Wednesday when I saw, uh, when I watched Battle Circuit, which if you don't know is a weekly tournament held in New York. Uh, Justin Wong was attending, and they had a really good final set with, uh, uh, him and Sanford Kelly, and if you haven't seen it, I, I suggest go back and find that because it's really good. It's a really good final set. It was hype as shit. Uh, all right, big news this week is that they actually Capcom finally confirmed that at final round 17, which is March 14th through the 16th, the mystery ca fifth character is finally getting revealed. I'm so happy they're done with this mi mystery crap. I mean. Ugh, they, they just, the hype is completely gone. They, uh, they squeezed the shit out of, out of it, and we just want to know who the character is already. It's, it's, it's done. Just tell us. I mean, as long as it's not a charged character, I'm probably gonna try her out, but we'll see. I mean, besides that, they also confirmed that there's gonna be new trials for everybody in the game, which it's not the most needed thing because who the hell does anything from the trials really? Uh, but it's nice to have any either way. Give you give me something to do offline. Uh, also, another really cool thing is that a uh, Capcom and a company called Virgin Gaming they started an official money match system uh, online. It's pretty much you go on, you sign up, and you can either put yourself out there, say you want to bet this amount of money or any amount of money, or you can choose from other people doing that, and. Uh, you both agree to play. I think I'm not sure if you get to choose how long the sets are, but it's at least best of three. Uh, you play it, you take a picture, upload it as proof, and you get and you get your cut. The only down uh, side seems to be that they they take a 12. I think it's a 12% cut unless you buy like the premium subscription or whatever. But either way, you have to pay a little bit to them. Which is fine, but it's great to see that they have an official money match system out there. And from what I hear, it's working great. All right. Besides that, uh, if you ever if you watch the first season of ESGN's Fight Night, you know there's uh, you know there's going to be a second season coming. Uh, and I don't know. Me when I saw the first season, I guessed pretty. I, I had a good idea who was going to win. It was either going to be Infiltration or Tokido. Although I was le leaning towards Tokido a bit, so I was kind of surprised. But they had a really good set at, the la uh, at um, during the last match. Uh, well, either way, they uh, they finally released who the new character, who the, not the new characters, who the new people coming on the second season is going to be. Uh, they put out there that the infiltration's coming back. There's Shin's coming back. There's going to be Sanford Kelly, Laugh, K. Brad, Reinhardt's coming back, as well as Alune, and also Chirithi's going to be Chirithi's going to be there. Now, I can guess uh, pretty well who was going to win the last season, but this one, I don't know. They got a, uh, some really big people, so I, it's probably going to be Infiltration again. Although I don't doubt that uh, any one of these can take them out, so it's up in the air to me. All right. Uh, last few things. I'm gonna go through them really quickly. Uh, Diddy Kong's returning to Smash. Yay! I don't really care. I did, never really cared for Diddy Kong, although some people did. And it's not that exciting of a new character. Uh, besides that, they they fixed the jail system in Killer Instinct. I won't be playing Killer Instinct for a while, so I'll check that out in a few weeks. But it's good to know that they. It, it only took about a week or two for them to fix it. And the last thing, which I actually am a little excited for, is that they confirmed that the new Guilty Gear will be coming to PS3 and PS4 this year. There's no exact date, but it, it's good to have something. I mean, if it comes out for PS4, then I finally have a reason to get one, and hopefully, and but that's only if it's an exclusive to PS3 and to PS4, which is which seems to be the case right now. Alright, that's it for this week. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, stay classy.
Hey, nightmare! Huh? 